Hey everybody, this is Jeff Wall. We're going to talk today about how to use Zoom. So if you request a meeting with me or a research session, it will be over Zoom. So I'm going to show you today how to use Zoom because a lot of times that can be confusing for people. So I will send you an invite to a meeting if you request a meeting with me and the email will kind of look like this. The location for the Zoom meeting, this is, this is the link you would click to get into Zoom. So this would be, you could copy and paste that or I always put the link inside the meeting too. So you could just click this link and then the, the Zoom window will launch. Now, you'll see a screen that sh comes up that should look like this. Now, what you should, if you don't have Zoom already on your computer, you would click join from browser. This is the quickest way to get into a meeting and then you won't have to download anything and you can just get right into the meeting. So I would recommend join from browser. Okay, let's go back to Zoom to just show you some features. It's it's pretty easy to use. Okay, so here we are back in Zoom here. Now, this little toolbar down here is where all of your tools are for your microphone, your camera, to chat and to share a screen or record if you wanted to, which you can do that too. Now, the tricky thing is this disappears. If I hover over up here for long enough, and I don't have my mouse down there. Do you see what happens? So this is confusing in a meeting. I'll say, hey, can you share your screen or can you unmute your microphone? And I say, the controls are at the bottom. And you say, no, they're not. There's nothing at the bottom. What you have to do is you have to pull your cursor down here and then this will show up. So here with the microphone, you can mute your microphone or you can turn your microphone back on. Turn your microphone back on there. And this is useful if you're going to be doing a lot of typing or something, or a, there's a lot of noise in the background. If you're doing a meeting with me, you can just leave it on. I don't really care about the noise. Here you can stop your video. And then I have a picture loaded in there. You don't have to have any picture loaded. It's up to you whether you want to show your video or not. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't affect your microphone at all. I'll start my video again. There it is. So it's completely up to you. I usually leave my camera running, but that's totally up to you. Okay, the other really useful thing, the most useful thing is share your screen. If you click right here, then it can do just what it says here. Now it gives you all these different options for what you want to share. I always just click share down here to share everything. Um, just be aware whatever you were last looking at, this is what I was last looking at on my screen, will now be there. But at any point I can bring up anything else I'm working on. And you could show me what you're doing on the library website, etc. Okay, then I can stop my share right there. So that's pretty easy. You just click here, share screen. And then I, you could choose whatever one, like here's the library webpage. I could share that. Or you just click share and it shares everything. And then stop share right there. Uh, chat, you might want to use the chat if we're, if we're going to do some chatting or sending links back and forth. This is an easy way if I'm going to send you a link for a page where you want to send me a link to ask how do I cite this, you could go into the chat right here. I clicked right there and there's a chat here. You might see this if I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Is your microphone turned on? Or you could send me a link to a website that you're having trouble citing and I could help you come up with a citation. So that's the basics. That's the basics of how you use Zoom. And if you want to leave the Zoom session, you just click here end. And then you would click uh, leave meeting or end meeting for all. This will be, I'm the person who set up the meeting, so I'll have this. You probably won't have that, but you'll have leave meeting there. So that's the basics of how you use Zoom. And uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.